In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about apixaban, especially what it does to the body and about specific side effects. This is especially important if you are about to start apixaban or you're already established on it. I'm also going to answer some commonly asked questions in my clinics. Can apixaban cause excessive bleeding? Can it cause hair loss? And can you drink alcohol whilst taking it? Now, these are really important questions that you should be fully informed about when making a decision about taking any medication. And this video will help you to understand more about apixaban and allow you to make a logical decision about taking it. So let's get started. So what is apixaban? Apixaban is a type of medicine known as an anticoagulant. It makes your blood flow through your veins more easily, which means your blood is less likely to make blood clots. It's used to treat people who have had a health problem caused by a blood clot, such as a blood clot in the leg or a blood clot in the lungs. It also is used to prevent blood clots if you're at high risk of having them in the future. People who are at high risk include those who have previously had a stroke or a TIA, have had an irregular heartbeat, have heart failure, or who have recently had surgery to replace a hip or a knee joint. So how does it work? A Pixaban makes your blood clot more slowly. Now blood clotting or thickening is a complicated process involving substances called clotting factors. And clotting factors are made by the liver and help stop bleeding. They work with blood cells called platelets that trigger the clotting process to make sure your blood clots properly. Now a Pixaban works by stopping a clotting factor called factor XA working. This makes it take longer for your blood to clot. So who may not be able to take it? A Pixaban is not suitable for some people. To make sure it's safe for you, tell your doctor if you have ever had an allergic reaction to a Pixaban or any other medicine, if you're trying to get pregnant or are already pregnant because a Pixaban can be harmful to your baby, if you have liver or kidney problems, or if you have had a recent spinal injury or surgery, if you have any injuries that are currently bleeding a lot, such as a wound, if you have a stomach ulcer, or if you have antiphospholipid syndrome. Now, this is a condition that affects the immune system and makes you more likely to get blood clots. If you ever had surgery to replace a heart valve. Now, what's the correct dose? Now, Pixaban comes as 2.5 milligrams and 5 milligram tablets. Your dose of a Pixaban depends on why you're taking it and the usual dose in adults, if you have a heart condition called atrial fibrillation, is one 5 milligram tablet taken twice a day. Now, your doctor may prescribe a lower dose of a 2.5 milligram tablet to be taken twice a day. If you're over 80 years old, you weigh less than 60 kilograms or have kidney disease and are at higher risk of bleeding. If you have recently had a blood clot within the last six months, it's two five milligram tablets taken twice a day for the first seven days. Now, after that, you'll take one five milligram tablet twice a day. If you need to reduce the risk of a future blood clot, it's a 2.5 milligram tablet taken twice a day. And if you've had a hip or knee replacement, it's a 2.5 milligram tablet taken twice a day and you'll usually take your first dose 12 to 24 hours after surgery. Now, how do you take it? You'll usually take a Pixaban tablets twice a day and try to take it at the same time every day and swallow the tablet whole with a drink of water with or without food. And a Pixaban usually starts working within a few hours of taking it. Now, how long do you take it for? How long you need to take a Pixaban will depend on why you're taking it. 
If you have had a knee replacement surgery, you'll usually take it for about 10 to 14 days. If you've had a hip replacement, you'll usually take it for 32 to 38 days. If you have a blood clot, you'll usually take it for at least three months. Now, depending on what caused the blood clot, you may need to take it for longer. If you have a heart problem like atrial fibrillation, you might need to take a Pixaban long term or even for the rest of your life. Now, do remember if you stop taking a Pixaban, your risk of blood clots will return to what it was before. This can start happening within a day or two of stopping. This means that you may be at increased risk of serious problems like stroke, a heart attack, or a clot in your leg or your lungs. Now, what do you do if you forget to take it? Now, take your medicine as soon as you remember, unless it's nearly time for the next dose. In this case, skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Do not take two doses to make up for a missed one. Now, it's very important that you remember to take a Pixaban every day. And if you often forget doses, it may help to set an alarm to remind you. So what are the side effects? While a Pixaban has enormous benefits, the downside is that it can make you bleed more than normal. This is because while you're taking a Pixaban, your blood will not clot as easily. The kind of bleeding you might have includes periods that are heavier and last longer than usual. Bleeding for a little longer than usual if you cut yourself. Occasional nosebleeds that last for less than 10 minutes. Bleeding from your gums when you brush your teeth or bruises that come up more easily and take longer to fade than usual. This type of bleeding is not dangerous and should stop by itself. If it happens, Keep taking the Apixaban, but tell your doctor if the bleeding bothers you or does not stop. Now, things you can do to help yourself, for example, if you get a cut, is to press on the cut for 10 minutes with a clean cloth. If you get a nosebleed, sit or stand upright, don't lie down, and pinch your nose just above the nostrils for 10 to 15 minutes. Lean forward and breathe through your mouth and place an ice pack or a bag of frozen peas wrapped in a tea towel at the top of your nose. If you have bleeding gums, try using a soft toothbrush and waxed dental floss to clean your teeth. And if you get bruises, these are harmless but can be unsightly. It might help to make them fade away more quickly if you put an ice pack wrapped in a towel over the bruise for 10 minutes at a time several times a day. Now, what can you do to prevent bleeding? While you're taking a Pixaban, be careful when you do activities that might cause an injury, a cut or bruising. It can help to stop playing contact sports or other activities that can cause an injury such as football, rugby, hockey and horse riding. Wear gloves when you use sharp objects like scissors, knives and gardening tools. Stop wet shaving or removing hair with wax. Use an electric razor or hair removing cream instead. Take your dentures, false teeth or retainers out for a few hours a day. If you wear them to give your gums a rest, do not wear dentures or retainers that do not fit properly. Tell your doctor, dentist or nurse that you take a Pixaban before you have any medical or dental procedures or surgery. This includes vaccinations and routine appointments with a dental hygienist. Other common side effects include tiredness and lack of energy, feeling dizzy or lightheaded, a mild rash, or feeling sick or getting diarrhea. So what are the serious side effects? Now, occasionally you can have heavy bleeding from taking a Pixaban. Now this can be dangerous and needs urgent medical attention So call your doctor for advice if you get red pee or black poo, you get bruises that happen for no reason or bruises that are larger than you'd expect or keep growing in size. And go to the hospital emergency department 
If you get nosebleeds that last longer than 10 minutes, despite trying to stop it. If you have blood in your vomit or you're coughing up blood. If you get severe headaches or you have any bleeding from a cut or injury that will not stop or slow down. These are symptoms of serious bleeding. And if you get serious bleeding, stop taking a Pixaban. Now, I'd like to mention that bleeding in the brain is very rare whilst taking a Pixaban. However, it can be possible. So go to the hospital emergency department if you get sudden severe headache, unlike anything you've experienced before. Fits or seizures. Sudden loss of vision or blurred vision. Or a feeling of numbness or tingling in your arms or legs. You may also feel very tired, weak or sick. And in rare cases, it is possible to have a serious allergic reaction to a Pixaban. Now remember, these are not all the side effects of a Pixaban. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicine packet. Now what are the cautions with taking other medicines? The some medicines can affect a Pixaban, which can lead to serious side effects. Now tell your doctor if you are taking any of these medicines before starting a Pixaban. If you're on any other anticoagulant such as warfarin or anoxaparin. If you are taking medicines to treat fungal or bacterial infections such as ketoconazole, erythromycin, clarithromycin or rifampicin. If you're taking medicines to treat an abnormal heartbeat. If you're taking medicines to prevent organ rejection after a transplant or if you're taking medicines to treat epilepsy or if you're taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen or aspirin as these can increase the chance of bleeding. Now you can take paracetamol, Tylenol while you're taking a Pixaban. So some commonly asked questions in my clinic include What's the risk of excessive bleeding with a Pixaban? Now, the use of a Pixaban can increase the risk of bleeding and can cause serious, potentially fatal bleeds. In many reported cases, patients have underlying factors that suggest they are at increased risk of bleeding events. For this reason, a Pixaban should be used with caution in patients at increased risk of bleeding such as older people and patients with low body weight or renal impairment. If this is the case, the dose is usually adjusted or reduced to prevent any risks. On a plus side, there are availability of reversal agents should this be needed. Ondexia is a medicine used for stopping life-threatening or uncontrolled bleeding in adults taking the anticoagulant medicine such as a Pixaban such as an, in an overdose or an emergency situation. So the second question I'm asked is, can a Pixaban cause hair loss? Now, some people do report hair loss when taking certain anticoagulants. It is also a well-known fact that different medications can cause hair loss at different stages of the hair growth cycle. Some affect hairs in the resting telogen phase, while others affect hairs in the growing anagen phase. It's important to remember that it's normal for people to lose at least 100 telogen phase hairs per day. However, certain stresses such as fever, nutritional imbalances and some medications can cause this number to increase. So there are some studies that suggest anticoagulants such as a Pixaban can affect the hair or cause hair loss. But if you have any concerns about your hair while taking this medicine or you notice any changes, speak to your doctor or pharmacist. Now, can you drink alcohol while taking a Pixaban? You can drink alcohol while taking a Pixaban as long as you do not drink more than 14 alcohol units a week. A standard glass of wine is two units and a pint of lager or beer is usually two to three units of alcohol. Drinking heavily, especially binge drinking lots of alcohol in one go, is dangerous while taking a Pixaban. The alcohol can increase the risk of bleeding. Now I will provide the links to the studies below. Now if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button 
and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted every week. And hit the notification bell if you want to get notified about new videos. And please make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn more about. And you can also check out my other videos.